The man accused of killing a Weymouth police sergeant and a 77-year-old woman may soon learn his fate. Right now, as we speak, the jury is deliberating the case against Emmanuel Lopes. NBC 10's Oscar Margain live for us outside that courthouse. Oscar, good morning to you. There are some troubling details that the jury has to consider this morning. Yeah, good morning, Colton. You know, it's taken five years to get to this point. It's a case that's been followed very closely by the Weymouth community and also local law enforcement. And as you mentioned, yes, the jury continues to deliberate at this moment as I speak, and we may soon find, find out what the verdict will be. The jury back in court for day two of continued deliberations, weighing three weeks of evidence and testimony presented by the Commonwealth and Emmanuel Lopes's defense. I ask that you find him not guilty by reason of insanity. Yesterday, both sides rested the case with final arguments before the 12-member jury was instructed to deliberate. They're deciding whether Lopes is guilty of any of the 11 charges relating to the 2018 murders of a Weymouth police officer and an elderly woman. 42-year-old Sergeant Michael Chesna was allegedly attacked by then 20-year-old Lopes with a rock while being arrested for driving erratically and vandalizing a home. Prosecutors say that during the struggle, Lopes took Chesna's gun and shot the officer eight times in the chest and head. This is intent. This is purpose. This is premeditation. Lopes then allegedly turned the gun on 77-year-old Devira Adams, who was in her sunroom nearby. She was shot as Lopes fled the scene. Lopes' relatives and defense attorneys have argued that he has severe mental health issues, that he was psychotic that July day, and that the system failed to provide the help he needed despite having been previously hospitalized. That is a story of a man with mental illness that decompensated based on a variety of stressors to the point of psychosis. And again, the jury continues to deliberate. We're going to bring you the verdict live as soon as it happens. Reporting live in dead of Oscar Margain, NBC 10 Boston. Oscar, thanks for your reporting there.